What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Here on this channel, we are passionate about wealth and income. And in today's episode, we're going to take it all the way to the top as we count down the 10 highest paying dividend shares in South Africa for 2022. We're going to tell you whether we think it's a good investment or not. And by the end of the episode, we'll be showing you the single highest paying dividend share on the exchange, not to mention giving you insight into the top 50 so that you can make your pick. So stay tuned and let's get started. So it's no secret that I love the world of finance and that income producing assets are a big part of my portfolio and what I like to invest in. It's a great way to add to your passive income which builds your monthly means and helps you move towards financial freedom. It's also a great addition for retirement because growing your share value is an important part of a healthy portfolio, but when you need to start drawing from it to retire, it helps to have income so that you draw from it less. And if you're able to completely replace your work income with passive income, then you can in theory retire at any point for the rest of your life without having to sell shares or dip into savings. And for today's times, according to research from Morningstar, dividend payers outperformed the market by significant margins during most recessions and dividends tend to be less volatile than share price fluctuations. But sometimes shares without dividends can grow faster because they're investing that money back into their business to grow. So you need a healthy balance of the two to optimize the growth in your portfolio. So in our last episode, we covered the companies with the highest share price growth for this year. And in today's episode, we'll be counting down the highest dividend payments on the JSC and whether we think they're a good investment or not. Now, before we begin, just for some context, most JSC companies in normal times will often pay a 1% to 3% per year dividend. So let's get going. In the 10th place for the highest paying shares in South Africa, we have Coronation Fund Managers with a 13.6% dividend payments per year. So why is their dividend so high? Well, simply put, fund managers get their income as a percentage of assets managed, and in bad times, people will take their money out of the markets, so their overall asset declines, and so does their income, and so people will sell their shares and the share price goes down. However, with that being said, their share price appears to be currently 20% below its fair value, and so the dividend is high. Now, is this dividend sustainable? By all indications, yes it is. In the last four years, they have consistently paid between 1 Rand 60 to 2 Rand 40 every six months, even during COVID. So by all indications, it should continue between those amounts. Now, what about the share price? Over the last five years, that has lost 54%, but it depends if you think market conditions will get better, because if they do, likely their price will improve, like we saw in 2021, and decline in bad times like 2022. But overall, it's a solid company with consistent dividends. Next up is number nine with eMedia Holdings. Probably the reason for the large dividends of 13.7% is that in the last nine years, it has lost 88% of its share price. When share prices go down, dividend percentages compared to price goes up. But here's the thing, the company's earnings have been slowly going up and it's estimated that it's trading at 84% below what it's worth. So there might be some share growth here, but based on its record, I can't be sure. One thing, however, is that these dividend payments are not consistent. They do tend to jump from year to year, so it's not certain this will continue. Then in eighth place, we have Combined Motor Holdings with a 14% dividend payment this year. This company mostly owns car dealerships, so for this year, the company has announced a 3 Rand 94 per share dividend. The year before that, it was 2 Rand 30, and before COVID, it was 1 Rand 80 a year. So it's not given this will continue, but even in pre-COVID times, it's still around 5%, which is not bad, and its net income has been slowly rising. Then in seventh place, we have Octodec Investments, the real estate investment trust that focuses on the central city. The company became profitable this year after the effects of COVID, and is trading at a lower PE ratio than some of its peers. The share price is up 23.17% this year and announced that it will increase its dividend distributions from earlier in the year and with a dividend record outside of COVID of between 1 Rand 50 to 2 Rand, its previous track record seems consistent. Now we start to see some really massive dividends at 21.3% we have Accelerate Property Fund. Now this is a share I've owned since 2015 up until 2022 when I sold it and used the funds to buy the Satrex property ETF to diversify. 
I like the company, but the share price declined 80% over five years, and I think it's mainly due to them taking on too much debt to fund their redevelopment of Four Ways Mall, and some underperforming offshore property investments. Even before COVID, they had dropped their dividends, and no dividends were paid in 2021, which hurt the share price. Their share price leaped up when they announced they were paying dividends again, which is such a low share price, and why the percentage is so high. This one is debatable because it has had a bad track record, but one could argue that at the share price and dividend income, there is now value, but that's up to you to decide. Now the top five with AYO Technology Solutions to start. They are paying 21.5% dividends, but they were also on our list as one of the biggest share price losses in 2022, with a 63% loss on its share price this year, and it's down 93% over five years. And even at the share price, it still seemed to be a bad investment by the numbers, as it went from a profit of 21 million to a loss of 259 million Rand in 2021, and has been making losses each quarter in 2022 as well. Sometimes a dividend isn't worth it if the company isn't making profit, but that's up to you. Then Data Tech in fourth with 27.3%, that is over a quarter of its value. If you invested and got those dividends for four years, you would make up your total purchase price regardless of the share price. Okay guys, here is where it gets interesting, but also really simple. Data Tech sold its shareholding in Analysis, uh, Analysis Mason or AM for 135 million pounds and the special dividend is to distribute this sale price to shareholders. And on December 2nd, that will also be deducted from the share price, so it will likely drop in share price by 25%. This is once off and won't be repeated, nor is it sustainable. It also doesn't show value, it's just simply the sale of a business. Then in third place, there is Marathe Resources. This is a company that produces ferrochrome that's used in the production of steel. In the last two years, the price of ferrochrome has doubled, resulting in exponentially higher profits for this company. Because although it only produced 2% more ferrochrome, its earnings were up by 15% and they declared two cash dividends this year, both of which are higher than any full year dividend they have paid before. But with transnet challenges, load shedding and inflation pressures from the war in Ukraine, the company remains cautious about the future. So although the company is performing well and the dividends are well deserved, this level of dividend may not last for the next five years, but perhaps in the short term. Then in second place we have the Real Estate Investment Trust, the Pula Income Fund B shares, with a whopping 30% dividends this year. Now by all accounts, by reading their latest business update, they just had a very good year. And with most companies that got hit hard by COVID, their share price shows it. But since then they seem to have recovered well, they have presented a 98% collection from their tenants, a sale of non-performing buildings, a reduction in vacancy in most of their divisions, and insurance payouts from damages from the riots. But there was one line in the report that stood out to me, where they said, proactively address share liquidity constraints, but not at all costs. What that means is they want more people to buy their shares and that's probably why they paid out 100% of distributable earnings to the markets this year, one of the big reasons for their large dividend. Also, they are trading at a 52% discount to their fair value assets, so while we still need to research, it seems like this is one of the more solid companies. Then, in number one position, we have none other than, drum roll please, Tungela Resources, with a mind-numbing 48.3% dividend distribution. Now that is unheard of. Incredible. If you watch this channel, you might also remember that this was the highest growing share price this year, with 319% share price growth. So Tungela, by all accounts, had an unreal year. But keep in mind, lightning doesn't always strike twice. Just a few months ago, we did a full deep dive into Togela business and the share price, and I'll be honest, there were a few things that concerned me. Their huge growth came from higher commodities prices, but that and a few other reasons mean it could fall just as quickly if the tides turn. So if you have a few minutes, feel free to check out that before investing. So far, they are 17% down in just the last 30 days. And like we promised, if you want to pause the video, here are the top 50 highest dividend paying companies on the JSC. So feel free to pause and to check them out. 
But guys, that is it for today's video where we counted down the top 10 dividend paying companies in South Africa for 2022. Clearly there are some to be wary of, but some particularly in the property sector, which might actually show some good value. But if you enjoyed it, please consider to like the video. And if you want more market information and to follow our personal portfolio, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, as always on Casual Cash. Cheers.